Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up an altitude activated safe switch. Kind of like the Spectrum safe system, I think. I've never used Spectrum so I don't really know. But what we're going to do is uh, set, up, set up a model so that when it descends to a certain altitude it automatically switches into self-leveling mode. We're going to do it with the X a Tandem X20 uh, and a stabilized receiver, the S6R FR Sky receiver and uh, the FR Sky variometer. We need uh, some sensor to give us the altitude information. Um, it was asked whether you could do that with a GPS. You, you probably can, but uh, GPS altitude is not as accurate as a barometer altitude. So we're going to use the barometer from a variometer sensor. This was um, prompted by a question from Pale Schnorr. Hope I'm not butchering your name, uh, but thanks for the question. It's a good one and one that I'm interested in. So let's see how we do it. I'll be demonstrating this on the Skywalker X8. Here's the S6R stabilized receiver. Here's the variometer plugged into the smart port. Receiver sits nice and flat in there and the variometer just uh, pops in somewhere else. So we'll power up the model and put that aside. And now the first step is uh, you make up a model. Actually something uh, I didn't realise but to actually set up the stabilised receiver, the S6R or the S8R, Instead of running a Lua script, you go to this device configurator and uh, then there's the SXR setup and the SXR calibration. With the S6R receiver, channel 10 is the mode channel. So if you assign a switch to channel 10, you get manual, stabilized and self-leveling. I've assigned this switch here to channel 10 and I've actually reversed it so that I have manual up the top stabilized in the middle and self-leveling down the bottom. That's just my personal choice, that's the way I like it. So I'll show you in the mix. Ailerons on channel 1, elevator channel 2, throttle channel 3, rudder channel 4 and uh, channel 10 is my mode switch, that's the SD switch. Also on channel 12 there's a, a, a level calibration, uh, also a panic switch but I'm not using that. Once we've got all that connected up, we go to telemetry and discover new sensors and what we're looking for is altitude from the variometer there. That's using the barometer on the variometer. Now you can see sitting here it's saying 21 meters. We need to zero that before we start flying at the flying field. So we can click on that, go down to reset and it'll reset it to zero and uh, our altitude will be measured relative to this zero point now. We have to redo that out at the flying field. Now to program the safety switch, we actually use a logical switch which picks up the altitude from the variometer and sends channel 10 to the minimum value uh, which is the self-leveling mode uh, when the altitude goes below 20, 30 meters, whatever you want to program in. And I also have that on a uh, switch here as well. Meters. This logical switch is only activated when it's below 20 meters and I have this switch on here. So this switches the, the effect on and off. You can just fly around normally or if you want to fly around with that safety uh, you can flick that switch on. So I'll show you how that is set up. Here's the logical switch. So with the logical switch uh, it, it's like a, a normal switch any normal switch but it uses logic instead of a physical switch to to operate uh, so you get a whole stack of logic conditions you can choose from uh, this one we want is A is less than X A is whatever we want to choose but we're going to use at altitude so A altitude is less than then we get to choose the altitude let's set it to 20 meters there we go, so A is altitude, X is 20, so when altitude is less than 20, the logical switch will switch on. We can also have a, an activating switch as well, which is uh, the SF in the down position. So now we can use that logical switch. 
logical switch one there. Now this logical switch one won't appear unless you've already set it up, so we had to do that first. Now we want to use this logical switch to drive channel 10 to the minimum value, which is self-leveling mode, so we choose minimum from special. In the choices for source, we want to replace the uh, whatever value the channel 10 is already on, so that it sort of kicks in and takes over. And we scroll all the way down, and uh, we choose channel 10 as the output. Let's have a look at that on the channel monitor now. So channel 10 is the mode switch that shows the three modes, manual, stabilized, and self-leveling. Now we'll ac activate the safe switch and I am below 20 meters, so it's going to flick on straight away. So have a look at channel 10. As soon as I activate the safe switch, uh, because we're below 20 meters, it switches to self-level mode, no matter what mode I'm already in. That's how we do it. Let's go out and demonstrate it in the real plane now. Time to try out my logical switch, which switches it to self-level mode when the altitude gets below 20 meters, as long as I have that switch switched on. First of all, I have to reset the uh, altitude because um, it's a barometer. It doesn't know what zero meters is at this spot unless you reset it. Um, so to do that, uh, need to go to model, through to telemetry, scroll down to altitude, and then reset. Uh, you can also set up a, a switch or a button to do the reset as well, but I haven't done that yet. So altitude is at zero meters. Uh, let's get it up in the air. Get it up flying nicely. Total control, it's not in self level mode. 16 meters, 21 meters. All right, so I'll switch the safety switch on now and it'll t start telling me the altitude. 30 meters. 30 meters, so I'm still flying normally. I can do anything I want to. So let's uh, get it inverted and let it come down to 20 meters. There it is, switched into self-level mode. Might want to uh, increase that to uh, 30 meters maybe. Oop, there we go, that's in self-level mode. That's in self-level mode. Got control. And there it is. You can see when it clicks into self-level mode, it uh, comes out of a dive. And that's normal again. All right, let's... Uh, stick it inverted. And let it do its own thing. <laughs> oh, jeez. That works really well. Uh, what I should do, of course I'm going up the hill a little, little bit, 20, 22.7, let's do it this way maybe. Out of control and zip, there it goes, hands off the sticks. Safety switch on, we're all over the place. Excellent. So there you go, we've got a hard deck at 20 metres. Alright, so I've increased my uh, hard deck to 30 metres now. Okay, we're up above 30 metres now, switching, switching the hard deck on. Let's put it into a dive, and bang! <laughs> okay, it's above 30 metres now. Let's invert it, and <laughs> it will not crash. That's cool. We're above 30 metres now. 
It's, straight down and wee <laughs> that is radical <laughs> bang <laughs> that is cool so there you go logical switch with a variometer logical switch set to come on when the altitude is below 30 meters or 20 meters or whatever you want and that switches it into self-level mode